Welcome back to the final lesson of the Zero X Splits project series. This is Sweet Study reporting to you live from Buenos Aires, Argentina. In this final lesson of our code base track, we are going to be adding the withdrawal button so that you can withdraw funds from your splits contract. Let's get started with this project. So first step, I am on main. I need to check out the lesson branch, so I'll check out lesson. This is lesson 10. Now that I'm on the lesson branch, let's check out the code repo. I have already checked out the branch, verifying I'm on the right branch. Now I open up my code editor. I've already done this, but just to recreate the steps. And then we start up our app. Now let's get you all set up so that you can start building this out. So what your quest is for this lesson is you want it so that when you click the withdraw button, we withdraw your personal funds out of the split and go into your wallet. Make sure that your wallet's connected. Right now when you click the button, nothing happens. At the end of this lesson, when you click that withdraw button, you will withdraw all available funds into your wallet. Pause the video now, go ahead and try to follow the instructions so that you can withdraw these funds as well from your smart contract on 0x splits. Pause the video, come back once you finish this lesson, I will show you how I would do it. Go ahead. Alright, if you are here, that means you either got stuck and needed some help, or you finished the lesson and wanted to see how I do it. Here's how I would complete this lesson. So let's go back to our code editor. Looks like the next step is to fill in splits. So we'll come into the split service and it looks like all we have to do is fill in this withdrawal method. So in order to see what we need there, let's check out 0x splits. and here's the withdraw method. Looks like it takes an account we want to withdraw from. The withdraw ETH, which is either zero or non-zero. I'm not sure why they didn't just make this a boolean. They made it a UN 256, but this seems to just be a boolean. Um, and then a list of tokens. In our case, we don't care about any tokens other than ETH or in our case, Matic. So we're gonna set this ETH to be positive integer and then the tokens will have to be an empty array and the account will be our account, that way we can withdraw the funds um, that are saved on our behalf. So let's implement this method. Super simple, they've already given us everything we need, so we'll go with contract.withdraw and then just pass in those other variables, account, withdraw ETH, and tokens. Should be that easy, let's give it a shot. First, we'll try withdrawing when there's no funds in. We should still be able to withdraw, but we just won't be withdrawing anything. All right, let's continue. Let's see if we got a successful transaction there on the withdraw. All right, it looks like we had a successful transaction. So. Let's run through this whole app from top to bottom. First, we'll create a split, taking a second address. I'm gonna make this one 80, 20 into my wallet. So 20 to this other recipient, and then 80 to myself. Let's create the split. This is step number one, create the split. All right, now that we are, well, once the split's created, the second step, earn funds in the split. So once we've created this, and just showing you where these four steps are coming from, right here, create, earn, distribute, withdraw. We are doing the create step right now. We just finished the create step. Now let's earn. Let's deposit some funds into this uh, contract. So I will send to that address 0 0.01 Matic. Next, we are now doing step two. We are sending the funds into our custom splits contract. Our split
split should now have a balance. Let's take this as an opportunity to check out our splits in the 0x splits dashboard. So go to app.0xsplits.xyz. This should pull up a list of all of my contracts, all of my custom splits wallets. Let's search for that address. There it is. Should have 8020, it does. It's already received the balance that I sent of, of 0 0.01 Matic. Next step is to distribute those funds. So let's take this address, put it in to distribute. Now let's distribute the funds. All right, we've sent off that distribute. Right now there are funds to distribute. Once this transaction goes through, I should not be able to distribute this anymore. Let's actually watch this page and see if this gets updated in real time. Was finished. It still shows we have a balance over here. Might take a little while for it to actually get propagated. There we go. It's now updated to say that these funds have been distributed and my balance up top now shows that I have 0 0.008 Matic. That's 80% of 0 0.01 Matic. Final step, let's withdraw this Matic. So we'll go down to the withdraw button, jack up our gas to make this super fast, confirm, let's go back over here and watch. Alright, so we're pending this withdraw step. And it has been approved. Our balance should go down to zero in a sec. There's no more balance to withdraw. We have successfully withdrawn our token, and we can verify that here in this final step. It'll get included in the block, and once it's included in the block, it'll take a little bit of time for the transaction on the smart contract to actually update to show those tokens being transferred, but the tokens will have been transferred. So, and we'll verify that by checking out Mumbai's polygon scan. I'm going to do a little bit more block scanner shenanigans while we're waiting on that. So transaction hash. Oh, that was just a minute ago. Where's the previous withdrawal? Yeah, you can see this initial attempt does not actually show the tokens being transferred. Here's a withdrawal that should have. Yeah, there's tokens being transferred. Cool. So we can see that. Let's check back over here on this transaction and let's hope that it will have added. So right now, oh, there we go. Okay, it's updated. So we can see that we transferred. This is our withdrawal step that we just completed and it did transfer that 0 .008 Matic from our splits contract into my personal wallet. So my wallet, which starts with ECF, ECF and ends with A89F, has increased its balance and it has received those tokens. So to recap what the four steps are of splits, create a split, put money into the split, distribute funds from the split, and withdraw from the split. In this project, we've shown you how to do all four steps, both in a no-code solution using the Xerox Split app, as well as in a code-based solution using React and Ethers JS. If you have any questions or if you would like to talk about what you're building on Xerox Splits, please reach out to me on any social media platform at sweetman.eth. I would love to hear more from my students. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned a lot from this. Hope you like building on hyperstructures. Hyperstructures are the future in my perspective of the Web3 infrastructure. This is Sweets, signing off.